the MDMA gives the patient this capacity to sit and be with their traumatic memories without being overwhelmed by them. So they can sit and talk in great detail about their trauma. But it just gives them that edge that allows them to do that, that psychotherapeutic work that normally they're not able to do. My personal opinion is that to open up and release your emotions, it would work perfectly. As all my experience with MDMA, you know, you've opened up in ways that you've never been able to open up before. But it's the consequences, you know, and dealing it with in your head that you've opened up on this drug, for me personally, was quite hard to comprehend. It was almost like the more I opened up on the drug, the less I opened up without the drug. I think in the right environment, with the right dose, with the right support, it could be a quick fix. One of the criticisms might be, well, you know, it's all very well when they're high on MDMA, you're curing their PTSD, but does it last? The studies that have been done in the States with Michael Mithoffer um, show that three to four years later, after no other interventions, the patients that had benefited were still benefiting three to four years later. Well, initially, the MDMA used to take away all your problems, make you feel amazing. And then the anxiety used to start kicking in. Because you'd feel great when you were on the drug, and then you'd feel ten times worse when you'd come down off the drug. But the emotions is the worst, the worst downside to it. Because all your endorphins are drained, and as, as what goes up must come down. Now, that's a theory that needs to be tested. Because there is some reasonable science behind that, that, that serotonin depletion, and that you've depleted your stores of, M of, of serotonin with the MDMA, and so two or three days later there's this low. But it needs more research, because as I said, that hasn't been borne out clinically in the studies so far.